Hi everyone, this is Wednesday's maths lesson and I'm going to go through what I would like you to do today. Um, I'm just going to show you the slides and go through them with you. Um, it'd be helpful if you did have a piece of paper or your exercise book with you while I go through them because I might be asking you some questions for you to jot down. Okay, first of all, what I'd like you to do is to go on to um, Doodle Math um have a go at your five a day and then follow up by coming back to this slide so if you need to pause the video while you do that that's fine or restart it again that's absolutely fine so after that we're coming to these slides now now we have finished our multiplication topic and we are starting a new topic looking at investigating statistics so today we are going to look at comparing lengths and heights so as again, so we're going to be describing lengths and we're going to be comparing lengths. So first thing that I would like you to do is on your piece of paper that you have, can you have a go at drawing two snakes that are the same length? Okay, have a go at drawing two snakes that are the same length. So if you have a look at the picture here in front of you, you can see two snakes that are the same length. And I'd like you to have a go at drawing them too. The same length. Okay, when you've done that, have a go at drawing two snakes that are different lengths. And if you're not sure, you can have a look at the picture here. So two snakes that are different lengths. Right, now you've got these snakes on this picture here. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to describe the size and the length of your snakes, of those four snakes to the parent or adult sat next to you. Okay, you can use some of these words here. So I'm gonna read them out. You've got the word length, longer, long, tall, shorter, short, double, half, same, and equal, which means the same. Okay, so I'd like you to have a go at describing those snakes on the picture to your parent and adult using some of those special maths words. So you can pause the video now if you'd like a little bit longer to um, explain and describe or we can carry on. OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and I want you to have a go at writing down the answers in your exercise books. So first of all, let's have a look at this jungle picture here. I want you to write down which animal is the tallest. OK. So write down the animal type, which animal is the tallest? So you've got monkeys, elephants, giraffe, lion. I want you to choose the animal that you think is the tallest. Then I would like you to have a go at writing down the name of the animal that is the shortest. So which animal do you think is the shortest? So write down that animal name. Okay, have a look at these animals here. Choose either zebras, rhinos, I think that's an ostrich or a hyena. Okay, so I want to choose one group. So if I'm going to choose the zebras, so I've got both zebras here, Think about which animal is the tallest out of those two and which animal is the shortest. OK, and have a go and you can point to them so your adult will know. OK, here we have a snake. I think that's a lion, a giraffe, a monkey and a meerkat. Out of all of these animals, I want you to write down which animal is the tallest. I also want you to think about and write down which animal is the longest. 
and think about the words I'm using, tallest and longest, what do you think is the same? And I want you to think about what is different about the things that are tall and things that are long. Okay. Right. There are four giraffes on your screen now. So one, two, three and four. So out of one, two, three and four, which number has the longest neck? Okay, so which giraffe has the longest neck? You've got one, two, three and four. Which giraffe is the shortest? Okay, what I'd like you to do now is because we're looking at comparing lengths and heights, I'd like you to compare length and heights to you as your body. So I want you to find an object or something that you have where you live that is taller than you. I want you to find something that is shorter than you. I want you to find something that is the equal size to you. OK, so something that is the same. It's the equal size to you. And I'd like you to take a picture and attach it onto your portfolio on Class Dojo. So that is going on to mine. So Miss Sachs or Miss McNichol Edwards, if you're sending it into her. OK, so along with your answers to the questions here, I'd like you to have a go at this activity here, which is finding things, an object or something that, where you live that is taller than you, shorter than you, and the equal size to you. So take a picture and upload. And then when you've done that, you can have a bit of a game. So if you follow this link, so if you click on this link, it will take you to um, a game and it's asking you to compare sizes. So it might ask you something that is, can you click on the picture that is the tallest, the biggest, the smallest, the shortest? And I just want you to have a go at that. Oh, back here. Okay, and when you've done all of that, make sure that you are logging everything onto Class Dojo so that me and Mrs. Nicola Edwards can see all your fabulous work. Okay, if you need any more help, please um, don't worry about messaging us. Um, please message us, let us know how you're getting on and don't forget to send in those pictures and I will see you all very soon. Thank you.